Today I'll be comparing two cruiser bikes. One, the Huffy Crambook, which can be found at your local Walmart, and two, the Live Simple Single. The Huffy Crambook sells for $168 at your local Walmart and has 26 inch wheels like most cruiser bikes. It also has seat post suspension, a threaded headset, and coaster brakes. This bike is pretty heavy at 44 pounds, so I'll talk more about that later, but it has a rigid fork and it's this cool blue color, the one I have, but it comes in a lot of different colors. I'll also talk about that later. Both of these bikes are single speeds. As you can see here, one gear in the front, one gear in the back, that's it. The tires are 26, like I said before, by 2.125, so pretty wide for cruiser bikes, but definitely fun. Here's a little bit of riding. I definitely like the Huffy Cranbrook, but it did feel heavy compared to the Liv, which is definitely lighter because this bike is steel, so it's heavier. It's also cheaper, which I'll talk about more later, but riding it feels pretty normal. It doesn't feel like a super bad department store bike. It actually feels pretty nice. The bars feel really nice having a little bit of sweep back, so you're more comfortable position with this cruiser bike. I think it's a really good combo. So neither of these bikes are gonna climb well. They're not meant to but both of them feel pretty good climbing. I would have to give it to the lift though for climbing better, but this one isn't bad. And braking, these both are coaster brakes, so you backpedal to brake. I like this. Both of these are rental bikes at a rental house. That's how I have access to them. So they're not super well maintained, but both of them stop really well. I think both are really good for maintenance properly. Both of these are, but yeah. Now we're going to be moving on to Liv Simple Single. This bike sells for $600 from Liv, which is a sister company from Giant. Pretty much they make women's bikes, which I don't really see a point for because I don't think bikes are specified to a gender, but that's a topic for another day. You can see it still has branded Giant in parts, but Liv in others. It's a step through frame, which the other one isn't, which I definitely kind of like the step through. And this one is also single speed, as you can see. It has a silver chain ring and crank, which I find pretty cool. Now you can see the brake. It works well, like I said before. These bars are pretty interesting. They're really laid back with a lot of back sweep. I don't really like them. I like the Huffies more, but they're still pretty nice, and I think a lot of people will like them. So climbing on this bike is better than the Huffy. I don't have a weight on it, so I don't know, but it's definitely lighter. It's still not amazing being a single speed cruiser, but it's pretty good, and you could get away with it. These are 26 by 2.125 tires as well. I really like them. Like I said, the bars are really sweet back, but feel somewhat nice. And like I said before, these are rental bikes, so they have some scratches and the seat is broken on this one, but it's fine. So I think this bike is overpriced. It's great, but I don't think it's over $400 better than the Huffy. I think if you want a single speed cruiser that doesn't have pole brakes or whatever, you shouldn't get this bike. I think you should spend less money because I don't think it's worth it. If this had gears and pole brakes, linear brakes or whatever, I think it'd be a different story, but it just isn't that much better than the Huffy. And if it was priced at like $400 or something like that, it'd be more acceptable, but it's just not worth that much more. Now I believe both these bikes come from, with kickstands from the factory and the Huffy's is horrible. I couldn't even use it at all. But the Huffy actually comes with fenders, which are pretty nice. And they're not even that bad which I did not expect and didn't even notice for a while. And if you look at the Giant or Liv, it doesn't even have them. And in the back, it doesn't even have mounting points for them, I believe. So that's definitely another con. You don't really need fenders, but it's a nice touch that Huffy added. You can see it has it in the front here though. So overall, I think the Huffy is a better value. It's still not perfect. If you could find like a bike like this for $300, I think it'd be great with some better parts. But the Huffy Cranbrook is not a bad bike, it comes in a ton of colors, and it's honestly a great value bike from a department store that works really well. So yeah, I think that's my opinion. The Liv is great, but it's not really worth the money in my opinion. So that's the review of both these bikes and a little comparison. I hope you enjoyed it. Make your own decisions, take a few other opinions, but that's what I think. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time.